So hello adventurers and welcome to the club. Today I'm making a fish in kit. So we have this little pouch here. Got plenty enough room, so we put our fish in. Lock it and the whole thing is done. Oh no wait, it wasn't fish in kit. It was a fishing kit, oh yeah. Well, then I'm eating this. And I'm making a pocket fishing kit. Like a, well, let's call it an EDC fishing kit. And that was actually, this was a viewer request, so it made me thinking because I haven't done a dedicated fishing kit yet. Because where I live, nah, fishing is not really a thing. Because there's no water and so there are no fish. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking, so I was looking at those pouches here. They actually once housed digital cameras that are now long since dead. But I was thinking this is a bit too big for a EDC fishing kit. And so I came across this little thing here. <laughs> this is a little pouch where you have your keys inside. <laughs> yeah. So it got two sides. One for change or something, and the other one for keys. Yeah, those are not my keys. I found them years ago on the street. I posted it online, but the owner never responded, so... It's safe to say those keys don't have a lock anymore. So, we can remove them now. And we end up with the perfect real leather EDC fishing kit pouch. And so now let's see what you will put in here. So since I like stuff to be organized, we are making a little thing I call a tool cart. Let's get this cart properly. Yeah, looks fine now. And what this is, is that's where we put all the little sharp objects or the objects that we could lose very easily. Like all the little fishing hooks. Or the self-made fishing lures we have here. Just like this, the little paper clip, the tiny hooks, the one really big hook, another little tiny hook, which I can't even pick up with my fingers. There you go. Now it's magnetized on my scissors. But yeah, that's how it should look like. So, next we're taking the tape. Removing a good strip of it. I'm laying it like this, that's easier. Not only to film, but to do. And then I'm going down on it here, like this. Perfect. So now let's cut the tape and fold it over just like this. The last end of the tape I will fold over once and then put it over the rest of it, trying to get it as straight as possible. 
like this. This also makes it airtight so it doesn't start to rust if you get it wet. That's my little gear cart. <laughs> so now let me see if this stuff fits actually in the kit. <laughs> yeah, on the back side I have a large pocket, which I would say is good for the pocket knife. I got a sharp blade and a bottle opener and can opener combination in case you just catch a can. <laughs> yeah, fits right in here. But let's see if we can put the foil in first. Maybe we gotta make it a bit smaller and compress it a bit more. It doesn't need to be airtight anymore if there are some little holes in it. That's no problem with this kind of foil because that's just in case we catch something and want to wrap it in to eat it. I'm also adding a full-size plastic bag in case we want to transport the fish we have catched alive. And well, so far this seems to fit perfect. And so now let me try to fit it all in. We start out with the little tool cart that fits in just as intended. Hook and fishing lure and line, and a piece of fishing line, just like this. Then we got our little knife blade, just a tin can folded over and crimped down on an exacto knife blade. It's perfect for taking out the inner parts of a little fishy. And in this case I'm taking a bit of simple tape and putting it over it. So the knife doesn't just cut to something we don't want it to cut. That also fits in quite well. A lot of fishing lure, one in a different color, a bit of wire, two eyelet screws so you can screw them in a wooden pole and have a fishing rod. A nail. Why are we not sharp here? This camera really likes to mess with me. We gotta use the old camera again. So, let's put this one in. One, two self-made flies. They are going to live here. Standard fishing lure and one that glows in the dark. If it wouldn't be so bright in here, I could show you. Yeah, two toothpicks. And the little swimmers. And so, now let me show you how good they float. <laughs> you see? And this is even with the longer side of the toothpick up. They are really good in this floating business. Floats. <laughs> Get in like this. Perfect. Salt, in case we catch something and wanna give it a bit of spicing. And so far, fits all in quite nice. Now we got one pocket left. I just take the lighter. I would recommend to take a smaller lighter, but I don't have one. <laughs> you gotta have some tin foil in here in case we catch some fishy and we wanna wrap it up and get it ready. Yep. 
and a little plastic bag. So, fits all quite nice in here. Still fits in the pocket. And yeah, we could of course try to cram the knife in here. It would probably fit. Yeah. Well, I don't like it. That's a bit too tight. And by the way, this little hook here, that's where the key was, is intended so you attach your fishing line and you can use this directly as a fishing implement. So yeah, it's a bit full, but it got everything in it. If we skip the plastic bag and the tin foil, it's fitting very nice. But yeah, that's it. A little EDC pocket fishing kit. <laughs> so, and I had to make some changes. I did get rid of the large lighter. It was just too much of an overkill. And yeah, here you could use a mini pick, but that one doesn't work. Or one of those clipper lighters. They are excellent. But I decided to just go with a little self-made book of matches. The ones here are waterproof and the one here is just normal. We just break it loose from the backing and strike it and it will work. So, everything fits now in like I intended it to fit. I just didn't like the way it was with the lighter, but now it's not too overstuffed. Perfect for the pocket. That's how I like it. And you, lighter, you will go in a different kit. <laughs> Don't be disappointed.